Hey guys, it's Sugar here. So today I decided I was going to show you how I clean up and organize my doll room when it's really messy like this. So if you want to see that, continue watching. So the first thing I always do is I just grab all my dolls and I bring them down and place them all in my bed. And yeah, just so that they can get out of the way when I clean and there is me dancing like a crazy person. So if you didn't know, I have a lot of dolls, so that's why I keep going up and down and up and down and getting all these dolls. Look at them all. So once I finish that, my room looks, my bed looks pretty crazy, and there's a bunch of dolls all over it. So then I just go back up to my loft and start cleaning. So as you can see, I like to throw things in boxes. So pretty much I find helpful is just grabbing a miscellaneous box and filling it with lots of miscellaneous items that you don't want to put away but you still want to keep. So right here I'm just sorting all my clothes and I find it really nice if you can just have a bunch of boxes that you put all your clothes and organizing them from t-shirts to pants and skirts and shoes. So as you can see here, I'm just organizing that area some more and lining up my pets. Then I just decided to put an American Girl bag up there so that I could cover up some of that stuff. Also what I like to do is keep tape up here just in case. Also another great tip I have is if you have a lot of trash, like me, just grab any parts of the bag you find and throw all that trash in there. The poison pack guys, never eat these, okay? If you don't eat these, then you'll be safe. So if you do have to come across this poison package, just throw it away. So here is just my very messy doll kitchen. And my pinging it, being a hard working lady. Yeah. Well, this is just me, you know, cleaning the kitchen. It takes forever to clean the kitchen. It's not even funny, guys. In here, but if you ever do find a knife in your dollhouse, make sure to put it somewhere where you do not cut yourself, especially if it doesn't have a cap on the lead on the blade. Be very careful, cause you. So once you finally finish, just give yourself a thumbs up. Also, what I like to do is just throw down all the big bulky things so that I can get them out of my way. So, another thing I have a problem with is receipts. So, I just take a little folder type thing and I shove them in there. And, of course, guys, just give you a thumbs up. Then we just start cleaning again. And guys, you have to organize all the rest. So I don't know about you guys, but I always, for some reason, have a bunch of random stuff laying on my floor. I see magic. Boom. So guys, I just put it on the box. So in this box, I just pretty much put all my doll's hair things. So I may be deleting my recording of me filling that box, but I pretty much just stuck it on the shelf. So the last final tip, so I'm pretty sure this all happens to you, where you have a bunch of necklaces and jewelry that always get tangled up everywhere and you have no idea where to put them. But guys, wait mo no more, because I have the best idea yet. So really all you need is some boxes and you're good to go. So for my first box, I just put all my doll's jewelry in there. And then for my last box, I just put all their hair clips. done with that you can just put them underneath a cool table or really wherever you want so by the time I usually walk on my floor and then I realize all the stuff I threw down there before so by the time I pretty much just get down and clean it all up don't tell me you've never played the cup song on a trash can. Then sometimes I get lazy and just shove stuff in my closet. 
Then you know I think I'm all done, and then I look at my bed. So then I realized that if I want to be able to go to bed, I have to take all these dolls off my bed. So by that time I realized they're all kind of in a messy little pile, so I start putting them in an organized, neat line. And being the perfectionist I am, I have to go around moving every doll till they all fit perfectly. And normally that tends getting into redoing all their hairs. Okay guys, so once I'm all done with that, I'm just going to show you some before and after pictures. Before. After. Before, after. Hey guys, so I hope you liked watching this video and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!